Hello, I'm Cole Powell, award-winning singer-songwriter from Random Mind Records. If you enjoy what you hear, be sure to like, subscribe, comment, click the bell for notifications. Consider supporting us on Patreon for exclusive perks, including polls and long-form reactions. Also, be sure to check out our brand new arts and media podcast, Words Like That, hosted by me, wherever you get your podcasts. All right, now I'll shut up and get to it. Yeah, have words like that. Distant shores, stand up high on the prow. Noble bark, I steer. Steady course to the haven. Humany foemen, humany foemen. My mother told me some. Listen to her high horny. Distant shores, stand up high on the prow. Noble bark, I steer. Steady course to the haven. Humany fool. Man, yeah. Humany. All right, let's have it right there. Man, it has been a long time since I've checked out How the Fox. And why, I don't know. It just occurred to me a few weeks ago, like, wait a minute, well, I haven't put any Hound the Fox on the poll on Patreon. Well, I got to do that, so I did. It won on the first round. I love the sound of Riley and Mackenzie together. They're just, voices blend so well. When you throw Adam Chance in the mix, and y'all know Chance is one of my favorite singers in Home Free, which I like all the guys, don't get me wrong, but... Absolutely love Chance. Something about his voice. And he's got versatility to it as well. You throw him in the mix with Mackenzie and Riley. They sound absolutely incredible. And I knew that they were on this as well. And they have not disappointed so far at all. This, of course, I've checked out a cover of this by voice play, which was also amazing. It is so funny because as as great as that was, this is, I would say, at least as equally as good, yet it's also kind of its own thing. They're putting their own stamp on it. it th- this song, this, this based on this classic Viking poem, I believe it was set to music in, in the modern times, if I got that wrong... You can correct me on that. I know a lot of people gave me information on this song when I did it with voice play. But it's got that that chant, that dirge, that drive to it. And they've got the percussion here, the drums in here to accentuate that. Which, that's one thing I like about the Hound and the Fox. They're not a cappella. Don't get me wrong. I love the a cappella groups. But I come from an instrumentation background. And the Hound and the Fox... They do the instrumentation, so I love I love hearing the instrumentation in their music with all the harmony vocals overdubbed. I also like the video here where you've got the actual representation of the number of vocals you're hearing. So you've you had you had there on the screen, you had the six boxes, two of each singers. And the the background vocals that were mixed lower <laughs> were shrunk down. I like that visual continuity with what we're hearing. But yeah, this is absolutely fantastic all the way around. I just wish I hadn't waited this long to put Hound on the Fox back on the pole so we could have checked them out a little bit sooner. All right, let's get back to it. Steer, steady course. 
Oh, it's gonna be it, isn't it? Wow! Man! Yeah, yeah, that was absolutely spectacular. The blend of their vocals, the mix, the instrumentation, the arrangement, the production, everything's great from top to bottom. I have got to put some more Hound and Fox. I gotta get them back in the regular rotation. They were originally toward the end of the first year that we were doing these reaction videos, and somewhere along the line, they just got lost in the shuffle, getting put on the poles. But yeah, they were fantastic. Let me know what Hound and the Fox I need to check out next, and we will get those on, get that on the poll as soon as possible. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Consider supporting us on Patreon, and we'll see you soon.